Hey guys, we're going to uh, do something a little different today. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm using a thermal imaging camera and I'm going to show you kind of the just a couple quick scenarios on maybe uh, the properly tensioned chain and then overly tensioned chain. So proper tightness and then somebody that's just cranked it up too tight. So I wouldn't recommend doing this uh, normally and uh, so I'm using my MS250. Uh, steel MS250 to do this with a 16 inch bar, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the uh, first set of uh, three cuts Hopefully two down and then one cut back up and uh, with a normal tension on the chain and I'll show you kind of how the bar heats up uh, And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to go ahead and kill the saw tighten the chain up to where I think it's way over tight I'm going to go ahead and run that uh, as well. I'm going to try to do two cuts down and one cut up on this piece of uh, pin oak. It's uh, the same family as like red or scarlet oak. And uh, so it's a nice and hard piece of wood. Should uh, should put some heat into the bar. Um, but let's see how it goes. And uh, hopefully you can see the difference between a properly tensioned chain and then a chain that's uh, way too tight. It'll kind of show you the difference in where the bar heats up. Let's go ahead and see how that goes. Well guys, good news is the saw survived. Uh, we made the cuts and uh, saw did just fine. Um, definitely noticed uh, it was log it was uh, lugging a little bit behind when the chain was over tightened. It's just the, the saw's working to overcome the, the tension on the chain rather than make cutting through the wood. So obviously uh, put the proper tension on your chain, but hopefully this video is fun, just something to show you where the bar heats up when you're making cuts. It's just cool, uh, different way I haven't seen yet on on the YouTubes. So, you guys have a good day. Appreciate it if you like and subscribe.